Good afternoon, everybody. Jeff at Cutter Masters. We're going to show you how to do a, a four foot end mill end using a our Easy Ends kit. To begin with, we set the wheel down one one degree, so the top of the wheel is tipped back. <coughs> the motor is at center height. There's a, marks on the tower that tells you where the center is. Sometimes there'll be an arrow right back there, depending on which tool render you get. This tells you that the wheel and the tool are on the same center height. Now we're going to raise the wheel up 200 thou, two revolutions on the dial on top. It just gives you about a seven degree primary. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to walk across the grinds quickly. We've been grinding, we've cut all these off. We're grinding a bunch of tools from scratch for a friend and partner with us. We're gonna go across the primary, then go across the secondary and show you how you do a dash. Pretty easy setup. The benefit of being able to do this grind is that this rim mill doesn't lose its shape. And by tipping the motor back, we don't actually take out that top corner and when we come across, it allows us to get all the way to the center. So you can make a nice center cutting. You know, So what Pat has done here is he's touched off the outside of the tool, zeroed his y-axis there, and he's just kind of watching the numbers as it comes across the end of the tool. Now we're going to raise the motor up, 400 down, three, four, four revolutions. It's an Acme 10 lead screw, so one revolution is a hit down. Now we're just going to touch up the secondary here. And while we're at the secondary elevation, and when he's in the center, we're going to gash flutes one and three. Now we're coming across the same height as the secondary grind. We're going to go into almost center. You want to leave a little bit of center. And you can either, <clears throat> you're going to plunge two flutes that are across from each other, creating a notch in the two opposing flutes. Traveling in about 35 thou in addition to the depth of the secondary ground. And now we're doing light gashes in the opposing flutes. You don't want to go 
down past center here. This is a light dash. And we're only going in about 15,000. This leaves flutes one and three connected in the center. And flutes two and four, but it's that for chip. <clears throat> and there you have it. Easy ends in five minutes.